Hey, hey, my friends. Zach Vandergraaff here with the Dynamic Music Room. And today we're talking about how to make our um, Google Classroom banner look a little bit more interesting because there are there are some choices you've got here and it can actually be really helpful for you. You know, when you have um, a million different classes like we have, having these pictures up here in the background, having them be different can really help us sort. So we could always go with the the Google generated themes, which are you know they're okay, they're kind of they're kind of fine, they're like whatever, blah 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 blah. There's only a few music ones though, but when you have thirty classes, you're gonna you're gonna run out of these pretty quickly. So here's how you make your own. I'm gonna head over to Canva.com, and um, I already have an account. I have Canva Pro, which is awesome. It's super affordable. I encourage you to check it out. But they have a lot that you can do for free too. A lot of free elements. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create our own theme uh, over here, our own photo. So on Canva, once you join in, which is free, you can link it up with your Google account. You're gonna click Create a Design. Oh, by the way. Um, I will include a link to this in the description below. And also, I have a whole um, post on Google Classroom stuff where I talk about this as well. So anyway, back on task. I'm going to go to custom size, and I'm going to make one that is 800 pixels wide by 200 pixels tall. You can go over this, but there's really no point because the Google theme is designed to be 800 by 200. I'm going to click create a new design and a new window will pop up and uh, um, it'll, you can, you know, it'll give you some templates and other stuff. I guess you can check these out if you're like, oh, sweet, this thing looks really cool. You can always click on that and here are all the free ones. If you have pro, you have access to like thousands and thousands more for only a few bucks a month. So that's pretty cool. But otherwise you can, you can click on that. You can change it. If you wanted it to say music instead of that stuff, you could, or you can get it out of there and go to photos, which load up and they have all samples of free photos. I have pro, like I said, so I am going to move my face for a second so I can see better and go down here and I'll select it so you can only see the free ones. The free ones are pretty good too, but, um, I mean, the pro ones are obviously a little bit better. So if you're like, hey, it's a music class, I'm going to type in music, and you get all these music photos. These are all free for you to use. They're pretty cool. So you might say, hey, uh, I, I, I like this guitar one. I have this class that's really into guitar and these rainbow guitars. So um, you can stretch it out so it goes over here. You might say, whoa, that's too big. You know, pull it up edit it how you want to, that kind of thing. For something like this that uh, doesn't fit exactly right, if you don't want to alter it, here's what I'd do. I would make it fit that way. Go to position, center, so it's in the middle. Get my face out of here again. And you can click on the background and click on this color piece up here. It's pretty cool. And you can choose colors from there. So you might say, hey, this pinky thing is kind of in there. That's pretty cool. Or that you can, uh, you don't want to do like animate per se. What's that do? Let's see. Black. Oh, that's not going to do anything. Um, yeah, there's a lot of different features you can do and that kind of thing. And sometimes it'll even appear, it'll give you suggest colors from the photo if it's getting a good scan on the photo, that kind of thing. So you're like, sweet. Now you have this, don't call it math, call it something like fifth grade music, and then the, the teacher's name, pointer, pointerless son, Mr. Pointerless, Mr. Pointerless song. I don't know what that is. Anyway, get goofy here. And you can download it. Pops up there on the bottom. If you have this, you can, you can download it on Chromebooks as well. Those work. Head back over to Google Classroom and upload photo. Select a photo from your computer. Find the photo. Boom. Oh, that's so much more. That's so much nicer and so much more unique. And that'll really stand out when you're looking at your bazillion classes on Google Classroom for sure. Now here, let me offer one more tip back here on Canva. Man, I just got to get my this face is in the way. Man, look at that face. 
don't look at the face. So if you wanted to get even more um, out there, not out there per se, but if you want to get more explicit with your labeling of the classes, you can, you know, come to these elements thing, which is pretty cool. You can go to shapes and stuff like that, put shapes in there. But uh, I always, I always like, uh, I use this one a lot up here, this free one here. And so I'm just going to drag this across the front. Always go to position. You can make sure it's centered, change the color, all that jazz. And I'm going to go to text, add a heading. You can change the font up here if you really want to. And I'm going to type in so I can type in fifth grade music, Mr. Pointer Less. Mr. Point Lesson. Change the size and all that good stuff. You can change the color of this as well if you like to really make it pop. Here's a cool feature. Now, now the point of this is that you know now it's got the whole class name on there, so that's even easier for you to see. But you can do effects like this, glitchy stuff that makes it stand out. On the back here, you're like, oh, no, now it's covering up that cool picture. Well, click this thing, and ooh, now it's sort of transparent, and you can see it, but it's still, it's still set off. So lots of really cool things you can do with this for sure, for sure. Let's clear these out for another second. Show you another feature that's pretty cool. I like this one. If you go down to frames, oh, man, these are cool. I don't even know how. I'm not entirely sure the coding of how these work, but it's super cool. So if you drag these frames, you're like, this kind of looks like a blank image. And you would be correct. Oh, I am centered. Sweet. Let's let's draw a few of here just to get just to get silly. Just to kind of demonstrate what it is. And so what we're doing here, this one's always funky. Is that the you when you drag a picture of some kind over these frames, it automatically fills the, the the picture. So if I liked this one from before, I can go here and boom, now it it drags and cuts it to fit in there. Like oh man, this girl looks looks like she's having a good time in music. Boom, there she is, cuts in that nice circle there. Uh, I think this one might not work out as well, but hey, well, that's not too bad. So hopefully you can kind of see how those work now and stuff like that. And like I said, this is just canva.com. I'll include it in the description as well. It has a free and a paid. The paid stuff is super cool. I'll include a um, link in the description of this video. And that kind of thing gives you some cool Google Classroom backgrounds. Pretty easy. But like I said, um, there's free and there's paid. The paid is pretty affordable. Check it out if you want. I'll include a link in the description. Full, full disclosure, the link is affiliate, but I pay for Canva Pro and I use it all the time. You can you design announcements for concerts. You can make posters with it. A lot of my graphics are made with Canva that you find on my website, dynamicmusicroom.com. So uh, I encourage you to, to check it out at least, but there's always the free one, so no pressure. And now you know how to make a Google Classroom banner in like two minutes. Super easy. All right, friends. Until next time, have a good one.